lessons learned. I should have brought more water and I should have brought more calories. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Good morning, everyone. So, I'm getting a late start. It's about seven o'clock. I was hoping to get out of here at least half an hour ago. But my dog, when I was putting my shoes on and everything, jumped off the bed like she wanted to go with me. And she has not done that for a few months. So I got all excited and got her all dressed and she didn't didn't seem to phase her at all. Put on her running harness and grabbed the running leash and everything. Went outside, she seemed to be excited. She went to the bathroom really quick. This is all normal from when she used to get excited about running with me. Since she got done going to the bathroom, went to go take off for our run. She was like, nope. So that was a little disheartening. So I took her back upstairs and uh, then grabbed my stuff. I was gonna go for a long run, but then when she jumped up like she wanted to go with me, I decided, okay, I'll just go for maybe a seven to 10 mile run then with her. And then maybe catch some additional miles after that. So I had no need to have all my long running stuff on. But went upstairs. Then I had to, uh, since she wasn't gonna go, grab my long running stuff, put it on. So it took me a while to get out the door. Worst part is, is then when I was leaving, she was looking all sad that I wasn't taking her with me. It's like, you gotta figure out what you wanna do, dog. You obviously didn't want to go with me. And now you're looking all sad and dejected because I'm leaving without you. Oh, maybe she'll snap out of it. She used to uh, get so excited. Like, she would see me just grab my running stuff and she would be right there at the door, sitting in front of it make sure I didn't leave without her. So my goal today is 20 or a little more than that. I don't know if I'll make that or not. I do. I'm a little bit tired today, which you can probably tell on my face. Didn't sleep well last night. But uh, we will do what we can. Starting off at a moderate pace, about eight and a half minute pace right now. First of all, it's taking about a mile to get warmed up. Now there is. But uh, I don't want to push it too hard. I hit a wall really quick. Hopefully there's not a lot of people out on the trail. We're just running off the trail right now because the busiest part is running parallel to me right now. But there's nobody out here on the streets. So. 
We'll just run about a mile on here. Actually, yeah, about a mile, a little over. And we're gonna hit the uh, four mile run trail, I think it's called. Which is a little creek or drainage that flows into the river coming from Sherlington or that direction anyway. But we'll only be on that for maybe half a mile. So we hit the Mount Vernon Trail. Then we're just gonna head south through uh, Alexandria, the other side, and just run towards Mount Vernon. Hopefully when we hit the 10 mile mark, we'll just turn around and come back. Or if I feel good, push it a little bit further, but we definitely will not make it all the way to Mount Vernon. That would be about a, probably a 28 mile run. I don't got that in me today. Morning. We're not on the four my run trail. Already quite a few people out here. Bikers and runners and walkers. I can tell you right now the tide is in because this is a lot higher than it normally is. Here's where it goes into the Potomac. And that's where it meets up with the Mount Vernon Trail. And there's a bunch of bikers. Two miles in, already sweating pretty good. It's not too bad out actually, so I don't know why I'm sweating so bad. I don't know if it's uh, just because of what's been going on or what, but my runner's wave and saying hello to people are getting a whole lot more responsive. Morning, but doing my part to spread positivity and friendliness. It's just my nature. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just had some old guy go past me that made me look like I was standing still. And I'm running about an 805 mile right now. Dude went flying past me and he had to be in his 70s easy. Either that or he's had a very hard life. Man, if I, I can only hope to be in my 70s to be able to run like that. I barely run like that now. Oh. Okay, guys. All the men out there. Man, that's predicament. So, there's a lady running ahead of me that I've been slowly catching up to. I keep slowing my pace down. I don't want to get behind her. There's so much traffic here that I'm just sitting there like a creeper. I don't know, do I look like a creeper? I have no idea. But I don't want to make them feel unsafe, but I don't know if I have enough in me to go past her. Good morning.
of this boardwalk area. So you'll see this a lot on the trail. A lot of fun. Yeah, it's Oh, there's a part of me that really wants to run over that bridge. But I can see that there's a lot of people on there already. And that crown on that bridge is no joke too. So we'll just keep going this way. Maybe on the way back. This is where the trail goes underneath this bridge. And uh, there's a park here. I don't remember what it's called, but I have never ran through here uh, when it's been open or partially open. And uh, it's nuts. There are so many people here. Can't believe how many people are here. Well, we're gonna continue this way and keep going. We're about uh, six miles in. I'm gonna do a uh, spring energy gel and uh, get going. really cool in this area. I've never been this far in. This is cool. I'm about nine and a half miles in so I'm gonna turn around here in a little bit. Morning. So far I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting kind of a weird twinge in my ankle, but I don't know what that is. That's about, never had that before. Oh, this last mile or so has been very rolly hilly. But it is gorgeous. So many people out here right now too. Okay, get my turnaround point, I guess. Actually, I went a little bit past it. Uh, I'm at 10.6 miles right now. Yeah, so that way I have a little bit of forgiveness at the end if I need it. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, I can tell that once I get to, uh, oh, she shoot. I bet you once I get to about 15 miles, I'm gonna start hurting pretty good, but I'll just do a little run walk if I need to uh, for the last five miles, I don't care. Definitely get my mileage in. This part of the trail is This part of the trail has been a little bit less busy because there's a street that runs parallel to this. Uh, and I noticed a lot of the bikers are going on there versus this trail, which is only right in the streets right there. Not, not to be confused with the busy highway right here. Uh, we'd be about uh, three miles from Mount Vernon. There's a part of me that just wants to run all the way to there and then walk as much as I need to on the way back. but. That would be 28 miles total, and I'm definitely not going to do that. So, I'll do myself a, another uh, gel and head back. Well, right okay, back to the bridge. I'm at uh, 15 and a half miles. 
about two, two hours and 20 minutes in. And uh, so far I felt pretty good. I'm still running right around that eight minute mile mark. Other than when I stop to take videos or take pictures. But, uh, it's a nice cool breeze blowing this morning off the water, which is nice. So many people out here enjoying the, uh, the morning. It's, uh, I'm gonna just take my time going back the last five miles. So, pop another gel here and drink a little more water and I'm gonna get back at it. I got a ways to go, you know, at least five miles. In fact, it should be exactly five miles. But we'll take our time. My legs are starting to feel it, but I'm still able to maintain right around that eight to eight, 30 minute pace. We'll see how I am afterwards. Uh, it is predominantly uphill, so there's that. We'll see. I am officially over 20 miles now. I got easily one mile left, if not a little bit more than that. I am spent. It is easily gotten about 10 degrees warmer in just the last probably 20 minutes. It could be that I've just gotten into more buildings and streets and stuff. I am officially out of water. So I don't know how much more of this I'm actually gonna run. I might just stop and walk up here a little bit. But we'll see how I feel. Well, that was a tough run. Just over 21 miles. I don't know what my pace was. My watch lies all the time. Just because you guys know I don't ever stop and start my watch. It says nine minute pace, but most of the time when I looked down, I was between eight and eight thirty. I'm sure there was a few times when I went pretty slow, but. That was a tough run. I, uh, my legs are definitely fine. Well guys, I will uh, make sure my next video will be, uh, after this one will be the, my review on the Hyperion Elite. So make sure you hit that subscribe button Hit the little notification bell so you guys can see when my videos pop up. Uh, if you feel like it, make sure you follow me on Strava and Instagram. The information's in my in the description. Look forward to making many videos for you guys. I am officially spent. And I'm going to relax the rest of this afternoon. So until next time guys, stay motivated, keep your goals, and stay out there running. Oh.